All right, y'all, we back, and <laughs> I need input. Comments below. Uh -huh. We are having a musical debate. This beautiful woman is an R&B. Hi. I am, mate. Well, hold on. No, don't relegate me to just being an R&B head. First of all, I like all types of music. Okay. Predominantly neo soul and R&B. <laughs> All right, I have a diversity. <laughs> you. <laughs> but shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. shalom. How was everyone today? How are you today? I'm getting better by the second. Awesome. So we, we thought about it and like we haven't really took you along with us on any shopping per se, well besides the college thing, but I haven't really took you on any shopping trips lately. Well, that's because like sometimes, and I know a lot of parents can relate when the opportunity comes you know, the last thing you're thinking about is grabbing the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like trying we, to run away. Right. We just be, we be trying to escape. Escape. <laughs> so this today is um, different because we, we have some videos planned for y'all um, with regard to like revealing the spaces that are renovated in our home. And so, um, but before we do, I really need to finish, um, tightening up some of the spaces um, as it relates to like decor items and stuff like that. So you saw um, if you um, saw our video, the, the guest bathroom reveal, you you know that you know that one has a good amount of decor in it. It's still not all the way done. Like we're missing a picture. Or two. Or two. Um, maybe a few little odds and ends but nothing major in there. But for the most part, it's done. But like our the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, um, our bedroom, our uh, our um, master bathroom. Like there's still a lot more videos to come and a lot more areas to decorate and so on and so forth. So before we even get really, really good into the video, go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed so that you'll be notified. I mean, well, you'll be a part of our family. You so subscribe. Hit the like button and tap the bell so you'll be notified every time we post a uh, video. I have to remind myself to say that before we really, really get going because I always forget. I do too. So. And as you can tell, you've watched the channel, I'm sure. Uh, we're pretty organic. <laughs> so pretty we, we just kind of go with the flow. Right. I can only be me and he can only be him and we can only be us. Uh, so. There's one thing we, we said right from the beginning uh, we're not putting on for nobody at all and the blessing of it is like I told Bay, I said whether we get a million subscribers or keep the same 500 we got now right. I'm blessed because no matter where I go I have the ability to pull up these videos and show anybody uh, you know and I go back we went back the other day and was looking at some old videos and started. she started getting a little teary eyed you know <laughs> you got jokes. Yeah. But um, what we're doing right now, we hit it, um, got about an hour drive, um, roughly. Well, it's 47 minutes is what the thing says. Um, we're headed to go to at home and to home goods. Home goods. And in any other little place that we um, on our venture decide to stop. Because to be honest with y'all, I haven't eaten today. Um, it's currently like one o'clock central standard time here and um i've had coffee speaking i did of, have a half a cup of coffee I speaking did. of that time for a coffee break <laughs> the bay has got me drinking some cinnamon dolce um coffee making me feel real bougie he is bougie don't let it don't don't let 
this very commonplace. Um, you just call me common? No, that's not what I was saying. Don't let this his commonplace just round away guy exterior fool you. Nate is legit bougie. He's bougie. He bougie. I'm not bougie. Yes, I'm spoiled. I'm Here. spoiled. You're not spoiled. You're highly maintained. We we we're, we're practicing on. And here's here's another little nugget drop because you know that's what we do. We're practicing on uh, being intentional and meaningful with our words, and because we know that uh, words um, are associated to certain spirits, because we know we can speak right. life and death from right here. Like right here. Well, and like I told Babe, I was watching Tour to the Tribes this morning, uh -huh. and uh, Matthew was saying, and like Babe gets on me all the time because I'm bad about letting my emotions come out my mouth before I, I process. He has no feel to y'all. Um, but like, like he said on the teaching this morning, he says, "Don't let your current conversations determine your future season." That's right. And so many times we we do that. Because we speak, and you know, we can speak to somebody we feel is an innocent thing, but we put that energy into the atmosphere. That's right. And now that is what is going to end up coming to fruition because your mind and now your heart is set on whatever you thought about. Exactly. Exactly. So I would empower everybody who has the opportunity to look at this video um, to really, really think about what you say, the words that you use. So let's give them a task. Task one is was our first step, right? And to me, mentally, it made a huge difference, right? Take the word broke out of your vocabulary. For sure. For sure. That because broke one. literally by definition means it can't be put back together. Right. Right? That has nothing to do with your financial situation. You may currently be out of pocket, which right. is now what we use. That or just temporary means, out of cash right. or, you know. Well, out of pocket just means I don't have instant access mm -hmm. to, you know, I can't reach in my pocket and pull it out at right. this moment. At this moment. But, that but I'm mean. not broke. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, that's just something. Try that. You know, see. Shoot us an email later, you know, after you've tried it for a little bit, see if it's worked for you. Right. Right. Um, uh, so, Torah. The Torah stays dead. As a man thinks, so is he. So if you think something and that is your prescribed way or that's who you are or how you move or whatever, then how much more powerful is it when you actually allow it to come out of your mouth? So think about, you know, your thought processes as well as what you allow to come out of your mouth. Um, it, it's, it's powerful it's powerful you know I've been years ago remember when The Secret came out for, for, for those of y'all that know about self help books and you know um, people get into this kind of like weird, weird spiritual uh, place and they're like oh I'm trying to you know elevate and do whatever it is but The Secret is not a secret it's Torah it's the word that was taken into and put into kind of like this weird place where um, people feel like you can manifest things that are good and pure and holy without reading Torah. That is so not true. You cannot do that. And here's the thing, just because the thing that you think about or that you think that you're manifesting comes to fruition, that doesn't necessarily mean it came from Yah. Which is, which is why, I mean, sometimes it'll be short-lived. When Yah gives to us, you know, it's by our works and our obedience or whatever. He doesn't give to us because you just sit there and you think like, hmm, I like a brand new Bentley. And just think about it, con you know, constantly thinking about it and pouring over it and laboring over it, you know. Or you envision yourself driving the Bentley or whatever the case might be. Because you got to think about it like this. Yah's plan for us is perfect. And I don't want to be preachy, but it's the truth. Yah's plan for us is perfect. So the thing is, is that if, yeah, 
it might be great and you might be living upright or whatever and you say oh you know i would really really like a bentley or whatever y'all's gonna give you the bentley only when you can afford to keep the bentley not giving you the bentley because you just want to stun on somebody and drive the bentley and be seen in the bentley does that but, make sense but, but then it also goes back to lust of the heart exactly because exactly. sometimes y'all allow Hasatan to give you things <laughs> to, to, sorry no. I'm, not, I'm not gonna get on no preachy no, no. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. these are the conversations that we had that y'all don't see when we're riding getting ready to go and just hang out okay just, so, just an FYI <laughs> sometimes y'all allows Hasatan to give you things for the fact that it's a test it really is yeah. I mean the the I mean, I bring it up all the time. Look, look what y'all allowed Job to go through, right? But he was rewarded, right? Be like, oh, he's not a god of wrath. Yes, he is. And you in know, this, in certain situations, in certain situations. Yeah. But the, I don't know. I just, I believe, and I, I believe Bea co-signed with this that the the one of the reasons you have to stay in Torah is because you have to look at the whole situation right you got to pay attention to what's going on and when you are blessed what you feel is a blessing be able to have the discernment be like oh this is a blessing or this is you know a potential test or curse right because the fact is if you don't know you're about to get wrapped up in even worse right if you don't know if it is a test or a curse and you start down that path it's a slippery slope oh yeah Sorry, I just went no, 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 that's the truth. I mean, you know, I know that um, there is no accidents. I know that y'all, even having this conversation, even having this conversation um, about, you know, what we're talking about, the subject matter, I know that there was no mistake that we had the camera and we're having this conversation because even if it only helps and positively affects one person, I'm blessed by it. You see oh, what I'm yeah. saying? I'm blessed by it. Um, but like I said, there's no mistakes. Yah, he placed us together. You know what I mean? We complement each other in ways that, you know. You're so beautiful. It ain't got nothing to do with outward beauty. Yes, you know, we are physically attracted to each other. I mean, that's a bonus as a husband and a wife, but. I mean, his heart is what is what I fell in love with, and it don't have anything to do with um, um, he fine. Okay, that's just a added bonus. I mean, and again, I don't see how, but somebody else might disagree. But he mine, so I don't care. <laughs> Like I said, we're, we're going to hit up a couple stores, um, try to give you a little update along the way, or at least give you an update on the way back home. Shoot, Karen, I bet you she ain't going to look up. You need a smaller cart? It's, it's... Seriously? All right. You going to start the day out like that? No, this is... Mm -hmm. It's two o'clock. No, now begins your day. You start that foolishness. <laughs> oh, no. Now begins my day. What? <laughs> I can't. No, I... Already. Yes. Let's go. Mm. Is it cute? You saw them? Yeah, I was looking at them. 
that is. Mm-hmm. It's different. Mango wood. You could put like, you know, decorative like a uh, vase filler in it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just kind of snake through? Yeah, whichever, baby. I'm... Marble top? Right. That's the size we need. Just like that. And that's only 129, babe. But you want gold? Uh-uh. I'm just saying that size oh. is perfect. No, I'm good with that size. Okay. It's a cute little bench. It is. That's a cute little table set up. Mm -hmm. It ain't our style, but mm -hmm. it's cute. Mm -hmm. Cast iron. Ooh, that's a nice big one. Is that bigger than the one we got? Maybe just a hair. Because ours is. You see that Dutch oven? Oh, that's seven quart? Mm -hmm. You found a rug? Yay! So they're having to give us the display because uh, we need a 8 by 10 and <laughs> the only one they got is the display. So they are going to take that down for us and have it up front. I like this too, but not for... That is pretty, bae. That's really pretty. The big camera, like uh, nobody wants to carry that big old thing around. <laughs> you gotta get another vlog camera too, babe. What is this? this is nice. You see this one? Yeah, it looks like it tends to the fuzzy. They, it, uh, hey, y'all. <laughs> Nate don't like. Uh, he don't like like uh, fuzzy. I don't like fuzzy. Fuzzy, I don't like. Okay, let me give him an example. To... <laughs> like this. Like, he can't. No. <laughs> he can't stand this. No, this. Okay, right. It's it's on the verge. <laughs> this. No. This like, is a no. He don't. He don't like. <laughs> and don't don't let it be fur. Fur is even worse. He don't like anything that's as long as shag, like a shag rug. If it's any type of furry. Anything with like a shag on it, <laughs> we you can get it. You can be a the rug she bought for Josh's room. Socks. No, no, the rug she bought for Josh's room literally is at the point where Josh knows I'm not coming in there without my flip flops on because I'm not walking barefoot on that rug. <laughs> sort of. That's cute. Like that. What's well, not bad for where? That little table in between the blue chairs. How's that gonna work? What you mean? How's that gonna work with that book there and that I'm wobbly top? I'm moving the book. Y'all, she put a book there, so I'm supposed to assume that the book's gonna be there. Because there's nowhere else to sit the book. Because we don't have a cocktail, I mean, or a, um, what you call it, table. We don't have a coffee table. 
Y'all, comment below if you know where you buy a whatchamacallit table. He knew what I was talking about. Don't play with me. We need a coffee table. I have a coffee table book that is sitting on the accent table in between two chairs. And I just set it there for temporary. So it'll be there until we get the coffee table. When we get the coffee table, then I'll put it on the coffee table because it's a coffee table book. Y'all confused yet? No. Hey y'all, a little PSA. If you need a rug in your life, you need to go to at home. Um, and these are clearance rugs. These are all 40% off. Oh, snap. I hope we didn't jump the gun. Yeah, I hope not either. Because I hate to have, you know, a little dude to put a rug up there. But that's, that's brand. Well, and some of these are labeled. Like this side, it says runners up here. 5x7, uh 8x10. -huh. Right. But they have rugs for days this is cute it ain't not for our style but yeah. that's a cute rug that's kind of cool yeah Good, right? rugs for days Yeah, I ain't seen nothing in here that's jumping out at me. Right. Now, the first one we picked is what jumped out at us. And I mean, there's some nice rugs, but nothing that goes with our. Aesthetic. The, the big word wifey likes to use is aesthetic. aesthetic. Say it. Aesthetic. Like she said, aesthetic. So, um. Y'all know y'all used the YouTubers using that word. I just recently started using it as much as I do. <laughs> Now back to the bougie statement. Mm hmm. What? So, we missed some stuff. But that's all outdoor. No, well, no, that's no. all seating. So, I'm wondering. I if see ottomans over there. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm wondering. If but I also see, like, dinette chairs and stuff back right. there. So. so, we can go back there after we hit this. A lot of benches and ottomans. I ain't gonna lie, I like that brown leather ottoman. I do too. That's that Chesterfield type of, uh, you know what I mean, look to it. Right. Yeah, here's another advantage of being out in the country is that when you get to go places like this it feels like when you were in school and you got to go on a field trip <laughs> it's like oh i get to get out the house it's even better when me and Bay get to go together yeah. i mean it ain't too often we would go somewhere like this right. by ourselves right that's cute that is cute you could do a lot with that i'd put that on a back porch well that's cute I can see that in Pat Kelly's house. Mm-hmm. Wow. It'd be under 500 bucks for well, the two benches and the... Nice. Hey, we had chairs like these. Sure At did. the old house. Yep. Some big old high back chairs. I think we did well because we got the... The ones that match our bar shoes like that, mm -hmm. and we did not pay four hundred dollars. Cause, you know what I mean? Right. Look at that, cause they have a similar one right over there. See them up yeah. top. I'm so glad we went the route we did. Mm-hmm. And they're comfy. Mm Oh, there's us a rug right there. Here's the rug we need. We need that. No, it, it, it verges on fluffy. 
No says I. Yeah, it verges on fluffy. These are cute. Those are cute. That's a, that's a good price for that size. Two ninety nine. It's thirty two. Well, it's confirmed. They have no, no, um, they don't have any, um, coffee tables or, um, I see. Table. What's that down here? Go, go turn down this next aisle. They might have a couple. Literally a couple. That black and wood one. Sure is. Sorry, just... All right, y'all, so we got the rug, we checked out. Um, obviously, we didn't find no coffee table, but the, the cashier was really sweet. Um, so we uh, got that taken care of. We're probably gonna load this up and go get some to eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we's hungry. So, Yay, look at her, look at her, all happy. Look at her all. All right, y'all, we back, and I need input. Comments below. Uh -huh. We are having a musical debate. This beautiful woman is an R&B. I, I am a, well, hold on. No, don't relegate me to just being an R&B head. First of all, I like all types of music. Okay. Predominantly neo soul and R&B. <laughs> All right, I have a diversity. <laughs> you, <laughs> but, no, uh, uh, but, heck no, but heck no, my heck my no. primary no would be hip hop. No, uh, uh, y'all, I wish y'all could see this man's playlist. It is bipolar at best, and I'm not even talking about the good part. You know, like you have a playlist, and the playlist is, um eclectic right you got a variety and, uh, of, of songs that you know hits from all genres and over the course of a couple of different decades right not this guy this guy got <laughs> this one song that just makes you feel like you getting ready to go and Chicken commit up. no commit crimes against somebody what was the song um when did he just start off cuss like it I, I ain't talking about no hip-hop this, this ain't even hip-hop this is like what is the song you know what i'm talking about that boom 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 that song the one that you was just like don't judge me when you played it i don't know what you're yes you do um, when they were talking about the racist people yeah. Who's going chicken hunting? Oh, that's the name? See what I'm talking about? Oh, well, it's actually That's called, the name of the it's song? It's actually called F Your Rebel Flag. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, I want y'all to go search that song, that song. And comment below when you find it and listen to it. I'm telling you, that song is psychotic. It's psychotic. But it's... But I understand there's a why you love there, the song. There's a depth to the song. Right, I understand. I but all right, back to my original point. Since you tried to bust me out, I ain't trying to bust you out. So, <laughs> I'm not trying to bust you out. You came for me talking about all I like is R and B and the old soul. So, Joy and Pain, right? Right. Frankie Beverly and Mays, the original. But the original's not always the best. Oh uh, yeah. In no, this case, it is. No, yes, sir. I said not always. In this case, it is. look at that. Y'all, these drivers out here. But anyways, I had a squirrel moment. Right. So, Joy and Pain, Frankie, Frankie Beverly and Mays, mm -hmm. or Rob Bass? Frankie Beverly and Mays. See, I got to give it to... All day. The I have, originator. I have to give it to Rob Bass. Like, I'm not knocking Frankie and Beverly's Mays' original. I thought you said you loved me. I do love you. 
That's not what you just said. But I want y'all's opinion. He said that he like red raw bass over Frankie Beverly and Bass. The song. I'm not gonna. I guess and you don't have an excuse because our generation, like we're in the same generation. So you don't have an excuse for saying that. But see, frankly, Beverly Mays will have a pump, pump, pump it up. No. Stop. So anyways, y'all, leave your comments below which y'all would prefer out of those two. But let me, let us give you a little synopsis. So we were able to find the rug. We did get that rug we showed you. Ooh super stoked about that yes um we went to um um we went jersey mike's yes for lunch yeah. and let me tell y'all if y'all have a jersey mike's anywhere near y'all check them out really um good. the staff at the one we went to was phenomenal, phenomenal. yes very friendly very courteous yeah um you yeah. know some places they get your order ready like hey number 26 no the gentleman brought them out to the table yeah. and tell, we're leaving. Hey, have a good day. Oh, no. He first asked if we enjoyed our food. Right. So, I, kudos to Jersey Mike's. In um, Douglasville. In Douglasville. So, um, we left there. We went to Home Goods. Yes. Um, looked around in there. Um, we were working our way to the door. We found a table. Yes. Um, super excited because it looks very similar to the uh, accent table we got right and, and it has a little texture to it it has like a little hammered um, detail on the table right. part, portion of it which I really love and I you know what I left out I, I wanted to bring this up to you in the store that the way that the table was made like say for instance if the kids are in there eating something and, and or drinking something which they're not supposed to but they'll do it um if it tips over on that table the table will catch it because of the lip that's around yeah, it's got the table. like a two inch lip on yeah so i like that i really do plus you know i can put decor and stuff on there and just you know style it up all right so that, that and some cool coasters mm -hmm. and holders is pretty much all we got from there yeah um then we went to burlington because it's been quite a long time since we've been to a burlington what difference not at all um, we, we got pillows. Yeah. And not the decorative ones. The ones that you um, put on your bed. Right. With pillow cases. Right. Um, but yeah. Um, we went to Academy. Um, super stoked about that. Got me some bullets. Yeah. We finally found bullets for the Savage. Um, 270 Winchester. Hey. You know what? It is an older round. A lot of hunters now have switched to uh, the 308. But hey, I'm, I'm still loving my 270. 270 is uh, super accurate. Now, because of the air quotes, the ammo shortage, um, prices for ammo is still kind of high. You're starting to find it on the shelves, but they're still kind of The 9 mil wasn't bad. No. 9 mil, 50 rounds, 21 bucks. Yeah. Um, works for me it's a little cheaper it's four bucks cheaper than uh at, by the house but i just grabbed it because we were there but now um uh, awesome day with bay um now we're headed home we gotta go scoop the little one and then get ready to go get christian from football practice yeah um and then figure out dinner and all that stuff right. so any last words videos coming for the outside yeah exterior remodeling done so get ready for that but we are excited um the playhouse conversion playhouse conversion so stay tuned for that and again
again, make sure you share. Make sure you share our videos um, because what happens is once you share it, then they'll watch it, then they'll subscribe, then the channel grow, and it helps us out. They'll fall in love with us. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, until next time. Shalom. Shalom.